it started with um, the collection of poems and drawings of the children at Terezin um, concentration camp um, called I Never Saw Another Butterfly, which is what um, JMI came to me with. Um, and um, they suggested that I might be interested in setting the poems of the children, these extraordinary poems, and um, creating a song cycle. And I was immediately very moved and found the poems very, very powerful. Then I got involved in terms of uh, staging, thinking about staging and thinking about some of the kind of um, dramaturgical aspects of it, and also Dragon, who was making video. Um, uh, so we were looking at the interaction between live music, uh, recorded backing track, including testimonies of survivors from, from Terezin, and the visuals, the video stuff, again, some of which is archive, isn't it? Um, uh, it's edited archive, and some of it is new, generated uh, work. One of the things, I think, about the idea of children in a concentration camp was that we both kind of wanted to get people to imagine those as contemporary children and as children who are alive, rather than the story of children who died, in a way. Mm. This is a sense of being in the very moment, and, and to writing something like Terezin is full of beauty, not something you would think that somebody would describe a concentration camp as being full of beauty, but finding the beauty in the kind of everyday. I think from the extreme sort of circumstances that they were experiencing, there, there was this heightened sense of being alive, what it means to be alive, and um, which really comes through in the poems. And, and that comes through in the piece as well, and particularly now that we're working also with a choir. Um, and the, the final piece in, in the show, this is the, this kind of singing of a lie. We both got very inspired by this book called Helga's Diary, and um, she talks about the fact that she was doing drawings when she was there um, of snowmen and, I don't know, uh, children's games, ordinary children's drawings, and her father one day said to her, draw what you see. And so in the book, in the, uh, there are these drawings uh, of life in Terezin, um, some of which are playful, yeah. and some of which are called things like Nazi threatening Jew, little children's drawings of this particular situation. Um, drawing life seemed, I, th I guess the word life in the title is what was really important to us, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. That we were not making, that we were making a piece about life, actually, and about survival in, in the sense, in whatever sense, survival in that moment, you know, the survivors who are, whose testimonies we're using, but also just this idea of, of resilience and the human spirit. <laughs>